This is Montreal, Canada. Home to 4.1 million people, the region is connected by a network of commuter train lines, which service 52 stations and 30 local municipalities. Consisting of five lines and 239 kilometers of track, the system radiates from downtown Montreal, with trains running out of two central train stations to connect to outlying towns and cities. But how did the system grow from its original stations to the network it is today? My name's Zach, and this is the evolution of the network. Publicly operated commuter rail service in Montreal began in July 1982 when Montreal's public transit operator, the CTCOM, took responsibility from CN Rail of their De Montaigne commuter line. Running seven days a week, the fully electrified line ran between Gare Centrale and De Montaigne, servicing 11 intermediate stops. In October 1982, Montreal also took responsibility from CP Rail of their Hogo commuter line. The line ran seven days a week from Gare Windsor to Vaudreuil, with a single trip on weekdays continuing to and from Hogo. In June 1985, Westmount Station on the Hugo line was closed and replaced by a new stop at Vendôme. This new station offered an interchange with Montreal Metro's Orange Line, improving connections and travel into downtown Montreal. Later that month, the CTCOM was renamed to the STCOM, and responsibility for the commuter rail lines were transferred to this new agency. Vaudreuil Station on the Hugo line was also renamed to Dorian, at the request of the local town council. A new station opened on the Hugo line at Lakeside in 1986, being constructed on the site of a former CP train stop. Later that year, the station was renamed to Pointe Claire, better reflecting the name of the local community. Three years later in 1989, Grove Hill Station on the Hugo line was also renamed, taking the new name of Lachine. In 1990, two temporary commuter rail lines were operated to help relieve traffic pressures caused by closures on Montreal's road network. The Metropolitan line began in May, running in rush hours only between Repentigny and the Du Collège metro station. The line made four intermediate stops, with three southbound trips to Du Collège in the morning and three northbound trips in the afternoon. A second temporary service began running from Gare Centrale to Saint Isidore in July, with two northbound trips to Gare Centrale in the morning and two trips returning to Saint Isidore in the evening. Service to Saint Isidore concluded in September of that year while the Metropolitan service concluded in October. 1991 saw changes to the Hugo line at Ile Perrault, with the stop being relocated to its present site in August. One month later in September, the original station reopened, taking the new name of Pancourt Tarras Vaudreuil. In October 1993, Gare Windsor on the Hugo line was closed to allow for the construction of the Molson Centre, Montreal's main hockey arena. Trains were moved to a temporary terminus Windsor, located just west of the construction site. Major changes were made to the De Montaigne line in 1995, with a project to modernize the line and station being carried out. In June, service on the line was suspended to undertake these upgrades, with stations at Monkland, Ama Bay, Laval Lynx, and Laval sur le Lac being permanently closed. When the line reopened in October, two of these closed stations were replaced with new stops opening at Du Rousseau in Sunnybrook. Stations at Portal Heights, Vertu, Val Royale, Roxbo, and De Montaigne were also renamed, now being called Canora, Montpellier, Bois-Franc, Roxbo Pierrefonds, and Grand Moulin, respectively. The line was also extended one stop north, with a new station taking the name of De Montaigne. In 1996, Operations of the commuter rail network were transferred once again from the STCOM to the AMT, a newly created regional transit operator for the Montreal area. One year later, in May 1997, Montreal's third commuter rail line launched, running in rush hours only between Blainville and Jean Talon. The line made two intermediate stops at Saint-Thérèse and Saint-Martin. In August 1997, two new stations were added to the line at Saint-Rose and Henri Bourassa followed by another station at Rosemere in October. In 1999, rush hour service on the Blainville line was extended to Terminus Windsor, offering a more direct connection into downtown Montreal. 
In January 2000, Vendôme was added as a stop to the Blainville line, while Jean Talon Station was renamed to Parc. In May, Montreal's fourth commuter line was inaugurated, running east from Gare Centrale to McMasterville. The line included two intermediate stops at Saint-Lambert and saint Bruno. In January 2001, Henri Bourassa Station on the Blainville Line was renamed to Bois de Boulogne in order to reduce confusion with the Henri Bourassa Metro Station. Additionally, Terminus Windsor was renamed to Lucien Lalidé, harmonizing its name with the adjoining Metro Station. In September, Montreal's fifth commuter line began operations between Lucien Lalidé and Delson, with three new intermediate stations opening, as well as stops at the existing Vendôme and Montreal West stations. September 2002 saw a one-stop extension of the McMasterville line open, bringing trains to a new stop at Mont-Saint-Hilaire. In August 2003, a new station opened on the Rogot line at Vaudreuil, with all day service on the line be extended one stop west. A new station opened in November 2003 on the Mont-Saint-Hilaire line at Saint-Basile-le-Grand, followed by a new station in December at Longueuil-Saint-Hubert. Later in December, Blainville Line trains began stopping at Montréal West, sharing the station with the Rigaud and Delson Line trains. A one-stop extension of the Delson Line brought trains to Candiac in January 2005, with the line also being renamed to reflect this new terminus. To this day, the station has a limited platform, servicing doors on only one car. A temporary station opened on the Blainville Line in October 2006, with trains servicing a new stop at Vimont. Due to its popularity, however, the station was later made permanent, with the stop being upgraded in subsequent years. A one-stop extension of the Blainville line opened in January 2007, with the line being extended north to saint jerome Further south on the line, a new station opened at Chabanel the same month. In April, the opening of the metro to Laval saw a new station open on the saint jerome line at the De La Concorde metro station. In April, this stop replaced a nearby station in Saint-Martin. Due to funding issues with the town of Rigaud, rush hour service on the Rigaud line was cut back to Hudson in June 2010. In August 2013, weekend service began running on the saint jerome line, with limited trips servicing all stations between saint jerome and De La Concorde. In December 2014, Montreal's 6th commuter rail line began operations, with trains running between Gare Centrale and Mascouche. The line included eight new stations, as well as servicing three existing stations on the De Montaigne line. The line was also partially electrified, with overhead wires present between Gare Centrale and Anstique. The Mascouche line saw two additional stations open in July 2015, with new stops at Point au Tremble and Sauvé. The latter station offered an interchange with the Montreal Metro's Orange line, which improved connections between the two routes. In January 2017, a new station was added to the Candiac line, with Du Canal Station being opened. Later in the year, the AMT was disbanded, with responsibility for commuter trains being transferred to the RTM instead. With this change, commuter trains began operating under the XO brand, which has been rolled out across these services since 2018. In May 2020, construction of a new light metro line disrupted service on the De Montaigne and Mascouche lines closing some stations and rerouting trains. On the Mascouche line, trains no longer service Canorha or Montréal stations, with the route travelling by different tracks to Gare Centrale in rush hours only. De Montaigne line service was discontinued between Gare Centrale and Boisfranc, with stations at Durousseau, Montpellier, Montréal and Canorha being permanently closed. At the end of December 2020, service on the remainder of the De Montaigne line was suspended, closing the remaining seven stations on the line. Finally, in January 2021, a new station opened on the saint jerome line at Mirabel, bringing us to the commuter rail map that we know today. In the years to come, further construction of the new light metro will see changes made to the Mascouche line, which will offer connections to the new service. At the end of 2023, service on the line is expected to be cut back from Gare Centrale to Anstique, with all service being extended from Anstique to a new station at Côte de Lies. This station will feature a cross-platform transfer with the new metro, which will provide convenient connections into downtown Montreal.
That was the evolution of Montreal's commuter rail network, giving us the five lines that we know today. If you haven't already, be sure to watch our video on the evolution of Montreal's metro network, which you can access by clicking the button in the top right corner. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and comment down below to join in the discussion. My name's Zach, and I'll be Vanishing Underground until the next one.